How did you get this idea? Well, I was inspired by this line of poetry from William Stafford. I have woven a parachute out of everything broken. I started thinking of that line of poetry um, about a year and a half ago, and I was mm -hmm. trying to think of what broken or disconnected objects could you put together and create a parachute. Mm -hmm. So when I, I go hiking a lot and walking and I started finding interesting feathers mm -hmm. and I decided feathers would be the perfect material to weave a parachute out of, mm -hmm. uh, having been something that they float down from the air. Mm -hmm. And so I spent many hours, very enjoyable hours, picking up feathers in West, Westmoreland Park and Crystal Springs Rhododendron mm -hmm. Garden. Mm -hmm. And then I created my form and um, glued on feathers on the inside and on the outside of this. I used duck and um, geese feathers from those mm -hmm. parks. And um, early on, I did find birds that had died or wings, but I decided I would not pluck. I would only pick up feathers that were lying loosely so on the you ground. So this must have taken you a long time to collect all these. Yeah. Um, I've pick, been picking up feathers for over a year, uh -huh. and I often went several times a week to those two places, mainly, and discovered all these wonderful, beautiful feathers. Um, and what uh, structure, what kind of material do you use for a structure? On the inside, I um, made a form in the shape of the parachute using a material called buckram and it's often used inside hats or purses to stabilize the fabric. So I made that shell out of that material and um, I used quite a quantity of glue but the whole structure is fairly lightweight and we put a fan on it to ruffle the feathers and to cause it to move gently. Have the effect of floating down through the air. The fan's moving it a little also if anyone touches it um, or if several people crowd in around it, it tends to move a little bit. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. people have seemed to really enjoy going underneath and looking up uh -huh. and feeling the warmth of being en encompassed in the feathers. Uh, the feathers are found in, on different parts of the bird's bodies and it's, it w became really fascinating to me uh -huh. to see the different uh, patterns that are found even you know, among individual birds and uh, they were just really beautiful. I, when I would go out collecting them, I felt like I was picking up little treasures along the way. And then also putting them together and gluing them onto this form became rather a meditative, meditative experience also, uh -huh. and because they were so beautiful and it was um, kind of a repetitive type of activity and I just really enjoyed it. And then I had another use for the leftover feathers, the yeah. ones that weren't quite so beautiful um, or that got crushed. And I'll show you next what I did with the leftover feathers. Okay. What happened here was I decided to make a political cartoon for the window. And um, I had leftover feathers from my parachute project. I made two life-size dummies out of nylon stockings. Dummies? Dummies. These are dummies? The, they're uh, dummies made out of nylon stockings <laughs> and fiber fill. And they're of Bush and Cheney, obviously. And um, when I had the dummies made, I decided to invite several friends to help me do the tarring and feathering uh -huh. because traditionally, historically, this is a community project where you would run the scoundrels out of town on a rail. So I invited people to my studio and we didn't actually use tar. We used black acrylic paint and um, I had my friends help throw the feathers on to um, make it more of a community happening. And I got them cowboy hats because they've both been cowboys at times. They're riding on a rail here and um, we're uh, doing a symbolic ac 
activity here because it doesn't look like they're going to be impeached. It's called Giha. Not, ev not everybody knows what that means, but that's directions to a horse. Gi is to turn your horse right and Ha is to turn them left, but Giha, just get going and get them out of town. Now this face And then I didn't make the masks. The masks, masks. are uh, rubber masks you uh, can uh, get at a costume shop. Yeah. So how come they're both uh, laughing? I don't know. They just seem to... Um, they don't take anything seriously, even tarring and feathering, apparently.